Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Mia Sayoko and in this video I'm going to be testing out a routine that has been all over the internet. Andrew Huberman's productivity protocol. Dr. Andrew Huberman is a neuroscientist and a professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine. Most people probably know him from his podcast Huberman Lab which is one of my favorites. So it's no surprise that his routine has gone viral. But is it viral because it works or because it's kind of insane? Today I will be finding out by living like Dr. Andrew Huberman for a day. Good morning! It is 6.30 in the morning. The normal time I wake up is very sporadic. It just depends on what I did the day before. My body is quite resilient waking up at any time, really. I fear this is the easiest part of the day. And luckily it's daylight savings, so the sun's actually out. Waking up in the light makes things so much easier. So the next thing Andrew Huberman does is light exposure. I learned this from his podcast and it's been completely life-changing. I definitely see increased energy throughout my day. It's great for the dog anyways because I do need to take him out, don't we? But we need to eat first, huh? Mm. Everyone is capable of doing anything they put their mind to. But when I tell you there is nothing more diabolical than a cold shower in the morning. First thing in the morning is mental. Let's look up the scientific benefits. Boosts dopamine. Cold exposure can increase dopamine up to 250%. Improving mood, motivation, and focus. Reduces symptoms of depression, anxiety. Improves mental resilience because enduring discomfort intentionally makes other challenges feel more manageable. Increases alertness. The shock of cold activates your system fast. Physical health benefits. Improves circulation. Reduces muscle soreness and inflammation. Enhances immune response. Speeds up metabolism. Activates brown fat. Never heard of that. Which burns energy to produce heat. Improves attention, focus, mood regulation. Can stimulate mitochondrial biogenesis. What is that? May increase testosterone in men. Aww. Well, does it seem worth it? 250% dopamine boosted does sound nice, but this isn't my first time doing this. It makes me angry. I've seen other people do this. They leave being like, yeah, I fear I'm just built different. Okay, I'll do it. Here I go. Here, here I go. Okay. It says he does it for three minutes. <laughs> doing that thing that seems hard does make me feel like all of these other tasks are gonna be easier. I feel chemically different. I made the shower as cold as it possibly can. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, what's next? After a light exposure session, Andrew Huberman drinks two glasses of water with electrolytes. This is something I started doing because of him and it has changed my life. These are my favorite from Magna. I have the variety pack and I completely finished it. I drink a gallon of water a day, so I'll pour one of these in half a gallon and then I'll pour another one in the other half a gallon. So I'm interested to see what just drinking this whole thing kind of straight up will do. Two glasses of water is kind of crazy though. Beautiful color. I've been taking my electrolytes really seriously since about a year and a half ago when I experienced a health scare, which I will get into in a second. Delicious. So a lot of electrolyte supplements are literally just sodium, but I switched to Magna because it has a magnesium trio. L-theonate for focus, malate for energy, glycinate for recovery, sodium and potassium, no sugar, so no crash and no bloat as well. Okay, so what happened was after gym workout, I came home and my entire body cramped up so bad, I couldn't open the door into my apartment. 
I thought I was maybe having a stroke. A little Google search later, I found that I was incredibly depleted in electrolytes. I went to the gym fasted as I normally do and I drank half a gallon of water while I was working out. So I basically just flushed my body of its essential electrolytes. So I put a packet of electrolytes in my water. Literally within 10 minutes, I made a full recovery. So now I'm an electrolyte preacher. I'm so happy and so proud to be working with Magna today because I truly stand by this. Magnesium is responsible for over 600 reactions in the body and over 75% of us are deficient in it, especially in women. When I started having these, I stopped experiencing mood crashes, energy crashes, cravings, cure. Cheers! Delightful. I promise you when I say I haven't stood by a product so hard. It's not that I like it or I love it. It's that I need it. It's a necessity in my life. So definitely check out drinkmagnet.com and you can use my code Mia Sayoko for a discount. Let's get ready. Don't mind the giant hole in my ceiling. My upstairs neighbor flooded their entire apartment. Andrew Huberman preaches about not having caffeine until 90 minutes after waking up. Waiting allows your body's natural hormones, cortisol levels to peak naturally, and it also helps increase your tolerance to caffeine. And not only do I have caffeine immediately, but I have a lot of it. I have about five espresso shots first thing in the morning. My apartment has an espresso machine for the community. I'm just utilizing my amenities. Wow, this might be the best eyeliner job I've ever done. I recently started doing brown on the bottom. It changes everything. Makeup is done. Hair is done. Bangs are growing out, so I started doing this little, little swoop situation. Anyways, I think it is time for Gabby. Yes. So let's go get an espresso. Was it hard to wait 90 minutes after waking up? Yes, but I will say that the electrolytes in the water, having that first definitely helped and even like suppressed the need for the caffeine. So that's good. We just finished the first work session. I feel excellent. Indeed, the first spurt of energy I had for my day was used towards productivity. And so I feel accomplished. I slightly do feel like going to the gym right now isn't necessarily something I'm looking forward to now. I do feel like I'm not gonna have as good of a workout, but we don't know until we go because a lot of times I feel this way and it ends up not being the case. Having a set 90 minutes to finish a job instead of just deciding I'm gonna sit down and do it definitely adds a little fuel to the fire and it made me just want to work more efficiently. Yeah, overall, I feel like that was good. Would I do it again? Yes, but I won't know until I try working out. I think it's time to go to the gym. We are eating a little pre-workout kiwi. I also do have an Alani new. It's cotton candy flavor. Ooh, that's good. It's also not super like me to wear makeup at the gym, but we already got ready today. Our day's already getting started. Cheers, let's go. Right now we're gonna have mint lemonade. Now we are good to go. Let's go hit the gym. typically waits from 11.30 to like one o'clock to eat his first meal of the day. Something high protein and with vegetables, but if he's eating after his workout, he'll also maybe include a carb as well. Let's see what we have. We have ground beef. Vegetables, you say? That's tough. I have kimchi. That's a vegetable. Yeah. Okay, let's make some of this ground beef. grass-fed butter, four ounces of ground beef, not cooked like the most amazing way, kimchi, and then I also found some boiled eggs. Okay, 
low key, not bad for a three minute meal. We have ground beef, egg, protein, fat, and lots of vitamins. Kimchi, which is a good source of fiber. Probiotics. So typically after a meal, Andrew will take a walk. Andrew, as if we're besties. So when you go to work or school and you have a meal, it's so common to get so tired that you wanna fall asleep after. And that's related to a blood sugar spike. Going on a walk after stabilizes your blood sugar, your energy, your mood levels. After a walk, Andrew will participate in non-sleep deep rest. His is typically in the form of yoga nidra. We're gonna go lay down, close our eyes, and it's gonna look like we're asleep. Let's do it. <sighs> It does help that it's a beautiful time of the day with the sun shining. I think the sun helps tremendously. Maybe that's just a me thing. <sighs> if you ever feel the need to take a nap, sometimes just laying down in a full relaxed state is like a halfway point. If I'm like on my phone, I'm like kinking my neck, you know, just using my hands and using energy. I always thought that doing a yoga nidra session would just make me tired after. But if you just keep it to like a 10 minute situation, it's incredibly energizing. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Who would have known? Meditation, it works. But yeah, like I said, I felt like I was just so mind scattered before. So just allowing myself that uninterrupted rest really just <sighs> clears my mind. On top of that, I feel so energetic. I'm not even sleepy to begin with. All of these things I've done so far today have been excellent for my energy levels. What's next? Meal number two, let's see what we have. Classic struggle meal. This is my prepped protein of the week. Rotisserie chicken, some sweet potato, some breast, some dark, some more breast. Sriracha to the chicken. It's kind of gross. So we're gonna put some cheese. Rinse off the starches. Just because I love iceberg lettuce. Pretty sure it has close to no nutritional value. I love the crunch. Voila! Probably looks better than it tastes. Actually, I think I'm gonna love it. I am back for seconds. Yum. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love it. I wouldn't recommend it to someone though. Dinner number two, I guess. Around 2 to 3 p.m., Andrew begins his second 90-minute work session, which he dedicates primarily to creative tasks. He describes it as another deep focus block with no internet, no phone, where he can just fully immerse himself in meaningful work. Altogether, these two sessions make about three hours of uninterrupted focus each day. Got it's cheese ice cream. I've been having one of these nearly every day, which is the absolute best part of my day. Add a little bit of fair life in the center. Not too much. Then we respin. Perfection. About half a serving of graham cracker crumbs and some cherries. The mix in option. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, look at it. That is the best texture I've made so far. Andrew begins his evening routine by stepping outside to catch his final dose of natural light for the day. He explains that if you want to stay aligned with a stable 24-hour rhythm, you need both morning and evening light exposure. Having these together will help you naturally fall asleep and wake up around the same time each day. As the evening ended, I decided to have another work block. It was a short one, but this day just gave me so much energy, I truly couldn't stop. And no, I'm not required to walk while I work, but I really just had a lot in me today. For dinner, I had some steak as per usual, what's new? After, I went for another walk. This has been incredible on my digestive system and energy. I have a tendency of falling asleep while eating dinner, being fully unconscious after eating, and this completely cures all of that. I'm pretty sure this isn't a regular thing, but sometimes Andrew will do cardio at the end of the evening. I was fearing this so hard, but turns out I had so much more energy than I thought. I told myself I would run a mile, and after I finished, I wanted to do more and more and more, but it was late, so I decided to go home. An hour or two before bed, Andrew uses his natural evening surge in alertness to take care of household chores or organizational tasks. This spike in energy, often felt as a sudden urge to tidy up or a wave of restlessness, is a built-in evolutionary response. This jittery, anxious feeling that many people get at night is normal and typically fades within 45 to 60 minutes. So we decided to use that energy to do a bunch of laundry and clean up my apartment. Today was one of the most productive days I've had in so, so long. So much energy, so I just couldn't stop going and going and going. I can't imagine doing this every single day. Should I try this for like a week or a month? The cold shower was rough, but I think I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more often. I got an incredible amount of housework done, a lot of steps in, a lot of productivity. I'm proud of myself. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.